And action. When I was a kid, I used to be embarrassed that George Washington was my great whatever uncle. What a dork. I spent a lot of time growing up in this house, which was built by one of George Washington's brothers, who was one of my great etc. grandfathers. And that picture, that big colorful picture, was the Washington that I knew. I mean, look, this is obviously the cool Washington. Look at him, he's in color. And in the kitchen was this sort of dingy black and white picture of what I learned was my great uncle George. And I obviously assumed that being in the kitchen, he wasn't the important Washington. But things changed quickly. By the time I was six or seven, I already started getting phone calls to speak to radio stations, or TV shows, to talk about my great uncle, George. You know, but I learned quickly to do cherry tree jokes and dollar across the Potomac jokes. Just that kind of thing. Hatchet jokes, wooden teeth jokes. I learned quickly to think of George Washington the way other people think about Mickey Mouse, you know, an iconic character. But then I got to university and I learned a little about actual history and I realized it's one thing to make jokes to please the grown-ups in the media when you're seven, but when you get a bit older, you kind of feel like you ought to take these opportunities and maybe entertain and give them what they want, but get a message in there too, you know? Say something important, informative, inspiring even. Then, a miracle happened. Recently, we discovered the most incredible secret about George Washington in 200 years. Lost in his archives was this, this note that he made when he was 15 of the first thing he ever bought. It was this sort of guide he used that helped turn him into the hero he became. My book is about how George Washington got this wisdom and used it to shape his character. But it's not some boring guide. It's an exciting adventure story. When you get this book, you'll get the message. You'll get the, the wisdom. You'll get the plan. We now know how he transformed himself into a great man. If you get this book, you have a chance of becoming as great as my great, great uncle. Who says someone can't be serious and fun? Throw it at the camera, right? <laughs> scream, scream. Okay, scream. Ah! How come scream realistically? Ah! Yeah. We'll cut it out.